is. Um, your eyes are the windows to the soul. And so obviously the eyes have to look alive. In this particular case, we use a technology called ray tracing to ray trace the eyes. That's why the eye crystal looks like it's, looks like it's alive. And of course, all of the shadows are being rendered so beautifully. You see no triangles, no faceting whatsoever. Triangles have disappeared. The lighting system is so sophisticated, we can pick up the little sheen of the oil of his face. Now let's change, um, let's, I, I love the soft shadows underneath the lips. I mean, it's, it's so exquisitely rendered. Photorealistic. Okay, let's, let's, um, Lucas, walk us through some of this stuff. You, you, you do some talking here. Let me s right. spare a few seconds. Sure. So, yeah, um, this is Digital Ira, and uh, it's a data set from our friends at USC. And if you guys have been watching the uh, previous time, we've actually seen that we've shown it on a GTX Titan, the same data set. So it's pretty cool this works on, on a K1. Uh, yeah, and as Jensen said, the subsurface scattering um, in the, you know, the light going through the ears, also, you know, the light from the, uh, as the shadow lands behind his nose. You can see if you turn it off, um, you can just see that like his, uh, his skin just kind of looks like plaster or something. It doesn't, doesn't have the right effect. And so that's something that's, you know, it's quite computationally expensive and something that using Tanker K1 is possible on mobile finally. Now change the lighting environment. This isn't, this isn't just lighting, this is image-based lighting. And look how the light is coming, shining through his ears. Yeah, you get some rim lighting off the edge of his head. Now let's change the lighting yet again. That's just really stunning. If he was just more attractive. <laughs> I could sit here and look at him all night. Okay, so this, this, is a, this is a phase only a mother or a computer graphics company could love. <laughs>